right, so this is a video of me driving my converted Dodge Ram 3500 from an automatic to a manual. Um, I've installed the transmission. I didn't do the conversion. A good buddy of mine, when it was his truck, he did the conversion. So he put the clutch pedals in and, and did all the grunt work. And I just happened to get to put the tranny in at one point in time for this particular installation. You can see you got her fucking drive shifter, shifter knob there. Uh, on this truck, I've got my uh, Quadzilla Adrenaline. It's at 100 horse DDP injectors. A Fast 150. I think it's the titanium. Something like that. And uh, a Caterpillar Borg War 6265 turbocharger. A cutoff exhaust intake on this BPS intake for it. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of just my own thoughts and opinions and basic reviews of, you know, having put 100,000 miles on a truck with an automatic transmission, and going over to this handsome machine here that's a, it's got big, big meaty clackers and it goes fast and loud. So, here's the thing. A lot of guys who are in the coming scene and in the diesel scene, are of the opinion that they gotta have an auto, a manual man automatic piece of shit. And, you know, as with all things, uh, you gotta play and play. You gotta pay and play. Um, you gotta put money into what you're gonna do or you gotta put work into it, otherwise, shit isn't gonna run right. This truck has a 750 horsepower clutch in it. It's tight as fuck, right? You gotta have that stuff. The transmission's been beefed up, right? So that can handle power. Generally, these things will handle power anyway. It's been totally rebuilt, so it's pretty solid. But, you know, you're gonna double the horsepower, expect to have to replace shit. Um, had to reshoot the video. So, previous to this, I had a shell built diesel performance uh, 47RE in my old blue truck. Uh, it was an automatic, they banged through the gears, everything was set up really well, and we had it set to run you know, 450, 500 horse all day, every day. And it did, it did that for 50,000 miles until I put the truck in the dirt and the transmission's still good. Um, had a really tight Roadrunner uh, torque converter. It was a single disc billet torque converter. Um, and we had, you know, jam governor pressure solenoid, um, Red Eagle steels, or Red Eagle clutches, choline steels, that kind of shit. Um, very, very good transmission. and. Having driven a uh, 47RE and an MB4500 for quite some time, I've driven both, uh, I'm of the opinion that if you're gonna go fast and you wanna bang through gears, you wanna build lots of power and you wanna just fucking knock shit out of the park, you gotta pay to play. You gotta be a big boy, put some money into that 47RE and you make that thing a fucking fast truck, right? Because even though you're gonna put more money into it, getting it to run fast um, and to be able to stand up to that. And I didn't even have uh, billet input or output shafts, none of that shit. Just didn't do four wheel drive boost launches or any kind of fast shit, um, that kind. I do boost launches, just not four wheel drive. Um, but once you put them together, they become really solid transmissions and they can handle a shitload of power if you do it right. Um, the problem is, is a lot of people will try and sell you up on all this shit that you don't need. Um, and when you're really, you know, you're looking at a chip and set of injectors and turbo, you know, you're not, you don't have to have all that extra shit. You don't have to have billet input shafts, billet output shafts, billet, billet intermediate shafts, all that tough stuff that, you know, if you're going to try and build a thousand horsepower truck and you're going to be doing, you know, drag racing and boost launches and all that shit, you know, you don't need that shit. But. The downside, and the thing is I like having a manual, because it's like, you know, you're stirring your own transmission, you row your own boat. Um, I really like it. Um, but the downside to the NV4500 is that's third gear. All right. We're now going 30 miles an hour, 35 at 2400 RPM. That's fourth gear. That is 1500 RPM at 40 miles an hour. If you don't live somewhere where you can drive 40 miles an hour everywhere, you're either going 
2200 RPM or you're lugging your transmission or you're beating the shit out of it. You're not supposed to lug these things because I guess they don't like it. So the trade-off then is, well, I'm going to put in a six-speed because it's got that intermediate gear. And that makes a lot of sense. But again, if you're going to try and go fast and you want to do that kind of shit in a, in a manual transmission, 5600s don't stand up to being slapped around nearly like a 4500 does. So you can slap a 4500 around quite a bit and they will tolerate it. Um, but your uh, your 56s don't they don't deal with that. It's a lot heavier transmission and it's a lot more like a um, you know it's a, it's a heavy duty application. So you got to give it some time to get between the gears and all that kind of good shit. So you know I kind of say this to all the basic bitches out there that are scared of uh, automatic transmissions. Don't be. You know there's your difference right there. 25 miles an hour, a thousand RPM, or third gear. 1700 RPM, 1800 RPM, and 30 miles an hour. Lug it. Yeah, don't be scared. Put some money in your shit. Build your truck. Make it go fast. Um, and don't don't listen to what all the guys on the forums tell you. Because uh, you can definitely make your truck go fast and use stock stuff or, or use stuff that, you know, if you put a lot of miles on it, you know, you're going to go. It's going to work. Um, my last truck, I put 300,000 miles on it. I, well, okay. It had 300,000 miles on it. I put 110 before I put it in the dirt. So, kind of a motherfucker there. But this guy here has got 302. I mean, I've got, my wife's truck's got like 300,000 on it. I mean, we all, they're all plus 300,000. I've done a lot of maintenance on them, you know, but keep them running, keep them going. And you can have yourself a, uh, a cool old pickup. So, that's my opinion on NV4500s versus uh, 47RE's.